hello guys welcome back today we are going to learn how you can bake ik onto fk animation here i'm going to show you how we can do for both rigify and auto recarta we have a working animation here and this animation is in fk you can see this fk and this is the ik boom, and it's not controlling the body let me add animation to auto recarta so I'm going to use add-on called Remotion Pro. It's a blender add-on that has over 1,700 plus animation library you can load to your character. You can search uh, animation. So here I'm going to load working. If you click on it, all animation that has working in it will appear here. So I'm going to oh, select this one and I'm going to load working to this rig. Okay, so it support regular file, measure mode, does and auto characters so this one i have um, i have a uh, load uh, working animation to this character here okay so both of them is having working this is already fine and so we are going to show how we can bake them into ik okay, so let's start with the regify for regify character anytime you are paint or in open regify character it has a ui panel you need to enable or run that script before it will work if you don't find this all you need to go to test editor and you click on this you can see we have the run the script and you will see the red properties here okay so like this since the, this animation is in fk we need to bake it into ik especially for the legs so i'm going to do it for the legs but let's select ik faults you see that is not the one taking the control so just go to red properties and we have ik to fk font that's when when you click on this this will snap your ik to where you have your ifk bone is and it's going to align it so let me click on this and i click on this one you can see it's going to align perfect where we have the foot so when you set this value to zero and now you can see it is controlling the foot when the value is one that means the fk is the one that is taking the control so you can see now it is working but when i set the value to zero and i can see the leg is not moving because there is no animation on the ik bone to make the ik bone move the leg we need to snap the ik to where we have fk and then bake it to the animation so first let me snap this one we set the value to one so that the fk is the one that is taking the control so all what i need is just select and click on the action and this will tell you apply snap ik to fk to keyframes okay so just click ok now we can see where the fk bone is moving then the ik is copy its position and then it has inserted this keyframe from frame 1 to frame 25 right now so the fk is the one that is controlled so all you need to just set the value to zero so when you set the value to zero you can see now it's moving because it copy its location and it has keyframe so there's animation on it so right now this is the one is taking the control so this one also fk is the one that is taking the control so we can also click on it and bake it to here and then after that we can set the value to zero so right now the ik is the one that is controlling both feet so if you have any adjustment you can further animate your leg here example this one when the leg land on the ground you can see there's slightly sliding here i can just go here and delete this keyframe from here to maybe frame 50 okay so i can just delete in between these keyframes I delete this and I can copy frame 10 and paste on frame 50. So from here you can see the feet will be land on the ground. So this is very good. So if you want to uh, fix floating feet and add it, this help in when your character has both IK and FK. Now let's go to Autoray character. And for Autoray character, it's simple than the reggae fight. Okay, it just click big and just go. So let me select this and let me go to post mode this cutter leg okay we can see the leg is in fk okay so i'm going to bake it to ik so for alterate just go to tools and we have it here when you click on this one it will just snap a single frame 
okay it will snap only the single frame so let me click on this you can see the foot is not moving because the, there is no keyframe in the i key okay let me snap it back and you can see uh, now it's moving because we have only the keyframe in fk bone okay so let's click on this settings here okay so we are going to pick it so this big i'm going to click on this and it will show you snap and big i key link to fk of a specific frame so i'm going to click on it and i want to start from frame 1 to frame 25 that's where the keyframes end so i'm going to click on ok and now i can see the fault has snapped to ik now the ik is controlling and you can see it is moving it has not been big the animation on it but this one is still is what in fk we can just do the same for this one 25 and just click on ok and big in the same method for the hands bow just do the same click on here and big which is 25 if you want to learn more about this add-on go to just go to the playlist there's a lot of animation here you can just transfer to your character for example the jump idle uh we can just reset and we have more animation in here just select and click and it will transfer to your character this is very easy okay you can also tweak animation and refine any post you want example this one and also have retargeting save custom library if you are on your animation you can just save it and it will appear on your library here okay and you have retargeting you can just retarget mizamo animation you can just maybe import mizamo animation and then you can retarget to your character it also has presets like Mizamo to auto rig, Mizamo to auto rig, and then you can just uh, buy constraint and you have that animation in here. Calculate scale to prevent fit sliding. Okay, so we have this. Okay, so this is the end of the tutorial, guys. Thank you for watching and see you in the video. If you have any question, you can leave in the comment section.